tell you, as my observation on the floor of the House last night, they didn't seem giddy. They seemed pretty frustrated because we continue to offer plans for keeping the government open and parts of the government open, and they just voted last night against veterans. They just voted last night against research at the NIH. We are for these things. We are for keeping the government open. We are against Obamacare. And pretty soon this is well, all going to come together in the debt I'm pretty sure that Democrats ceiling. are for those things, too, but it's this piecemeal approach they object to, like funding well, the parts of the government that are non-controversial, that Republicans well, like, and then not funding the other Carol, parts. Why, if they're for it, Carol, what does the process matter? Keep it open. Keep parts of it open. Let veterans go see the World War II memorial like they've been trying to do for the last two days. It's this real is really simple. how we want to decide our federal budget? I mean, really, is this the right way to go? Well, well, the wrong way to go is for the Senate not to produce a budget for the last four years. As a member of the Budget Committee, I'm very proud of the budget that we produced. It balanced in 10 years. It balanced, I think, one year even before the 10-year window. And we have always seen from the Democrats and the President our budget proposals that never balance. Well, and what we're fighting for at the end of the day, Carol, I don't know if you have children yet or I'm sure you don't have grandchildren. You look much too young. Thank you. But we're fighting for, we're fighting for them. Every child born today has $60,000 of debt assigned to them as, as their assignment of the, of the well, public debt. And it continues to go on. It's not even the $17 trillion now, Carol. It's the $100 trillion that's on the way if we don't reform the way we do business here in Washington. And that's really what this fight's about. No, this fight's about Obamacare in your mind. It's not about reforming the system. Well, You're Obamacare not talking about reforming our tax system. Carol, do you have any cetera, idea how much this law is going to cost? You know, it's, it's an insidious law because it's a lie. Do you know how much it costs affordable. every day the government it's is partially be, shut down? You're costing gonna, taxpayers Obamacare millions and millions of dollars. I understand that. And, it's, and Obamacare is going to cost the children of tomorrow $2 trillion just in the next 10 years. So Obamacare hurts this, this economy, Obamacare hurts this country much more, much more than any government shutdown. Seriously, even, even I mean, the debt Seriously, ceiling, Carol. the debt ceiling Seriously, fight is coming Carol. up. Obamacare hurts Seriously, the country Carol. worse than not raising the debt ceiling? Serious. Seriously, Carol. Because that's not what a bunch the of Wall is, Street the bankers told the, the president yesterday. Well, I had a lot of CEOs in my office yesterday. And they didn't share with me the same vision uh, that apparently some CEOs shared with the president. Because you know what? The CEOs that were in my office uh, yesterday were mothers and fathers <coughs> and grandfathers and grandmothers as well. And every generation, Carol, including ours, to date, has cared more about the future generation than ourselves. And if we don't change our ways, if we don't work together, if we don't get government under, spending under control we're so we don't put more on our plate together. Now. We're not remotely working together. Well, the one way we don't help our, the children of tomorrow is by putting $2 trillion uh, more on their plate. And that's what Obamacare spends over the next 10 years. It's an insidious law. It's a lie. It is not providing more affordable health care. People are losing their health care. I think People most, are losing I think their most job. Americans would say fight that fight separate from the federal budget. budget. Don't but it partially is a, shut it, down it the is, government. Is, don't Carol, make things worse by circles. fighting the same fight over and over. Right, we're going in circles, right? That's <laughs> yeah. what you guys are doing. No, you're part of the problem. The media is part of the problem as well. Oh, come on. That's oh, so easy. That's so Carol. easy. Carol, you're beautiful, but you have to be honest as well. Okay, I think we should leave it here. Thank you. <laughs>